before we dive into the lesson with my boys, I just wanted to show you what level four, the good and the beautiful comes with. So it's going to come with the course books. There's a part one and there's a part two. We are actually almost done with part one in like one day. Um, the answer key to those books are in the back. So you'll have the answer key of part two in the back of part one and vice versa. So, um, it also comes with a creative companion book, which is the writing, the art and the geography. Um, this I guess can be shared, but I have one for each of my twin boys just so they wouldn't fight over it. Um, is there a teacher's manual? No, that's what I love about this. There is no extra teacher's manual. It says everything you need to do in the course book and the course and the creative companion. Now down below we have the, these geography cards, they're geography and grammar cards. I have found these to be totally amazing and um, they have filled our huge gap of geography and grammar. I pick 10 cards a day for the kids to study and I'll put them in a little bag um, labeled working on it and isn't that so official. So I put them in that bag, I give them seven minutes a day and the, all of the older kids do this together. I put on a timer and we flip through the cards for seven minutes and they, they work on memorizing them. Um, the front of the card is kind of what, it's blank and then you flip it over to the back and it'll give the answers and they just work on it on their own. Um, and then the grammar, same thing, it'll give the answers on one side and the questions on the other. Now, just seven minutes a day, you might think, oh, that's not enough, but it has worked so well. Okay, so along with the course book, they do, the lessons include reading, but they do suggest to have the kids read on their own. And I do that anyway in my, in my homeschool. Every child is required to read a, a book, a classic piece of literature, all the time. So here's the books that my twin boys are reading right now. Connor is reading the American Twins of the Revolution and that was recommended on the Good and the Beautiful history book list and he's really liking that. Asher is working his way through the Narnia series and um, so is Connor and they just are tearing through these books. So they are always reading a book and they usually do their reading at night. So that, those books do not come with the curriculum but you can find them on the Good and the Beautiful book list. These books to the left, those come with the curriculum. I think you buy them extra. I wanted to buy them extra. I just wanted to have everything mailed to me so I wouldn't have to like sift it, you know, search for it later. So we haven't read these yet in, in the um, course book part one, but I'm pretty sure we'll be getting to those in the part two. So let's start with our lesson and let's dive in. All right, so as I am helping my littlest one, I have them go through the lesson and do what they can do independently. So each lesson in level four, as far as we've gotten, has these challenge word practice and challenge reading practice. They wait for me to do this part. What they can do on their own is the spelling drills. So they have daily spelling drills. And in this lesson, they look, they say it, they cover it, they write it, they check. And then they love these smelling ribbons. Mm -hmm. So you take the, these words and then you make a ribbon with them four times. And I just go through and make sure they spell them correctly. Now what I love about level four that I felt strongly about even before I got this curriculum was that my kids or my, my boys need to be reading. So um, every single lesson has a reading assignment. Right now they're reading the Belgian Twins are on chapter 14. So let me just give you an idea. This is something they could do independently while I can work with a, another child, with Drew specifically. So Asher, you read all this, right? Uh, yeah, it was really good. Okay, he loves this story. He loved, what was the other one, Carlotta? Carlotta and Down Tumble Down Mountain. You loved both of those, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, he's loved all of the stories. Is that right? Am I uh -huh. truthful when I say that? Yes, you are very true. <laughs> we don't want to be lying. Okay, so um, so let me give you an example. It's this page, this page. So it's about one, two, three, three and a half to four pages a day. And um, after he reads, 
he comes over here, you need to go through here and do this exercise. It says draw a line from the person to the service they gave to Jan and Marie. Mary. By Mary. Okay. So again, he does this. We're going to we're going to do that right now. This is still lesson 40 and that's what's awesome about level 4 is you guide them, you kind of show them do that. And then I'm going to run off and go check in with another child who is actually at the door waiting for me. <laughs> and this often happens. Okay, I have to go check with those monkeys. while he's doing this. Okay, so we'll be back. That's correct, now the editing, it has where they edit sentences for grammar and things. So Asher, I need you to go through here and make sure you have checked all the capital letters. Look for commas and see if they're in the correct spot. Um, see if there's any like run on sentences. Um, also check for um, yeah, commas, if they're in the correct, and capitals. Read through that and check that again. But it's hard. It is hard, but look at the sentence and see if you can figure out... <gasps> All right, now we do the uh, challenging word practice and challenging reading practice. And these two things are supposed to be done with a parent. I love this part because it gives me time with Asher. It's in Luxembourg, bilingual. Bilingual. What is bilingual? Um, it's speaking multiple languages. Okay. Uh, so these are also really good because they can be uh, vocabulary words and we talk about their meanings as we say them. So bilingual is speaking multiple languages. Oh. Okay. Indignation. Saunter, Garnered, Boulevard, Fluently, Circulatory. Circulatory. Cir like this, remember we learned about the human body? Circulatory yeah. system? Circulatory. Cokes, Coco. Good job. Okay, now the poem. I love this part Open of it. house. Alien... What's that? Aileen? Aileen is her name. Aileen Fisher. Aileen Fisher. If I were a tree, I'd want to see a bird with a song on a branch of me. I'd want a quick little squirrel to run up and down. And What kind of image do you have in your mind of that? Like the trees letting anything do anything. Okay, so you kind of imagine what? Are you imagining the tree itself or the things on the tree? I like doing this. All right, I like that. With stuff on his arms, right? Yeah. That is, it kind of paints a really pretty picture, huh? Uh-huh. Creative companion. Creative companion. Okay, tell us about the creative companion, Asher. Tell uh, us about it. What is your impression? What have you liked about it? I like it because you do a lot of art pieces and like you just it's cool because you write stories like this one I remember you had to write a poem about it this one you uh, use pastels to create something like a picture like this so the, the um, creative companion has geography, art, and writing. Um, we have been working on the writing. Let's go to the lesson that we're at. We've been working on the writing for a little while. The lesson 36 through 37. See, it, it tells you what to do with your story. Make dialogue, make a description. He did that. Um, add one simile, add some sensory language. So it's breaking it up into little steps, which makes it easy and doable. So it's not too overwhelming. Um, then edit it with commas, this. periods. Oh, good. Commas, periods, capitalization. And then here we are today on lesson 40. So here's the story he's been working on. Um, this is where he kind of started. 
and I have him keep all of his copies. So you can see how I edited things. Um, he just, it's a continual progression. Can you read what we're supposed to do for lesson 40? And this is something he can do by himself. Edit the second half of your first story. Make sure to use your proper commas, periods, and capitalization. Also, make sure you start a new paragraph each time a person speaks. Okay, so Asher, what I want you to do is today you need to go on your computer. Asher, it's right before lunch, so he's getting a little... <laughs> You're hungry, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so I, I want you to go through and do what they're saying. They're saying make sure every time someone is talking, which is called dialogue. I don't think I added. Make sure it's a new paragraph. I want you to go through and make sure you have periods and capitals and the right punctuation. Isn't that oh, what Oh, that's said? terrible. Look. What? That. Oh, that is terrible. Oh, Those kind of things you need to correct, okay, Asher? And then fire. So good. Fire, no space. Okay, so we have a lot of mistakes. Good job. So get a red pen. Go through, correct those mistakes. I have them do these long papers on the computer so they can learn how to type and save their documents and print them out. And it's just good for them to work with a computer and they have their laptop they do that on. So... Alright, so here I am with Connor, Connor Wave. This is Asher's twin brother. Today, with Connor, we're going to do Lesson 41. Alright, so Lesson 41 is about writing their book review. So it gives a couple points, give a title, give a brief summary of the book, give your thoughts. Then it gives an example, and Connor's going to be reading that, and then he's going to write his review on a separate sheet of paper. So, that is lesson 41 in this book, um, and Connor's going to be working on that. And then, after he's done, this is something he can do independently, and then I'm going to come back and check and guide him. Connor, would you say you're a strong writer, or you struggle with writing, or wish you were better? I kind of wish I was better. Okay, so Connor is working on becoming a stronger writer things don't come so naturally to him you have them in your head don't you yeah. really good ideas and good thoughts he just needs to help have help getting it on paper um would you say the writing program so far like remember the the story you were working on yeah would you say how this curriculum did it helped you yeah it really helped me how um it gave me ideas and then I could put those on paper and kind of add more ideas to it. All right, good. So it and it broke it up into different days, didn't it? Yeah. So it's not just in one day. And it wasn't like overwhelming, huh? No. So the writing program I think is good for a strong writer and a writer that's trying to learn. So all right, I'm here with Asher. Um we are doing the same lesson, lesson 41, and I'm checking his book review. And um, this review he gave is so good. Asher, can you read it to everyone? Yes. The Belgian Twins by Lucy Fitch Perkin Perkins tells a story about two twins who lose their mother and find their father, and their mother is in, and their father is in war. They go on exciting adventures to find their mother. This is not a fast-paced book about thrilling events it do, but it does paint a picture of wonder of a wonderful family and their experiences i like that the family was close together and had hope this book gave me messages that people can live through hard things if you're looking for a well-written christ-like book the belgian twins is a good choice oh, good job that really really was beautiful very very beautiful Mine is basically... all right so here we're checking connor's book review that he just did okay connor can you read this to us the belgian 
Twins by Lucy Fitch Perkins tells the story of a Belgian family find be, Belgian family who f gets separated and tries to find each other. This is a fast-paced book about thrilling events. I really enjoyed that the Belgian Belgian twins had hope that they would find their mother Van Hove. The book taught me that you need to have hope. Oh, excellent, Connor. You know what I find interesting? Is that Asher said it wasn't a book about fast-paced events, but it was really inspiring. And you said it was a book about fast-paced events. I love that, that perspective. So why did you think it was fast-paced? And I'm going to have to ask Asher why he didn't. Why did you think it was fast-paced? Because um, it was really exciting. and you What was exciting about it? You didn't really know what was going to happen next, so okay. it was kind of a mystery. Oh, okay, so it had a mystery. So this is really good, Connor. Very good job. I would tweak a couple things, like capitalizing the author's name, mm -hmm. um, and I would wrap it up at the end. So it says, the book taught me that you need to have hope. Maybe say something like, I would recommend this book for anyone that is looking for a moral story about getting through hard times or whatever. Okay. So just kind of get a couple things how you can, a couple sentences how you can wrap up that that paragraph, okay? Okay. You're doing so good. Your writing's getting a lot better. Do you feel like that? Mm -hmm, yeah. I feel like it is too. Okay. Lesson 41. So for the first part of lesson 41, they did their book review. Um, and this is the second part of lesson 41. And it is pastel art. So boys, uh -huh. We usually do this together, don't we? Yeah. yeah. So they usually do this together. Um, we get pastel paper. I just either get this on Amazon or Michael's or whatever store you can find it. I got these on, at Michael's, but um, this curriculum does include links on Amazon for the art supplies. Here it says and here. a damp paper towel and it says items needed, pastels, art paper. Um, so it goes through the steps, and it'll be interesting to show you how the boys follow the steps. This really does work, teaching them from this book. So, all right, boys, go for it.
42, and this is Connor. This lesson includes challenging reading practice. Save that for when I can come back. I'm actually going to run and help his brother on piano and make lunch. So these are things he can do by himself. The daily spelling drill. I want you to do this. Okay. I want you to do homophones all down there by yourself. And then they're starting a new reading assignment. I don't know if this is a book. I, it's a book. Oh, it looks like it's from a book. Um, so I want you to read all this by yourself. Do the reading check. And I want you to do all of this. See, look at all the stuff you can do independently. Um, and that is the lesson 42. So I'm gonna never Netherlands learn English in primary school. The Dutch people love bicycle bicycling. Many miles of bicycle paths we through the country. For 25 years, Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands were joined together as one country, country called the Kingdom of the Netherlands. The Netherlands has two capital cities. And, and we're checking his work. So he was able to do all of this independently. And... Um, and now he's going to read to me and we're going to do things together. And then I'm going to do, help him with the sentence diagramming. If you don't know how to do sen sentence diagramming, don't worry. There are these videos that we use um, on the Jenny Phillips website. All right, so this is the answer key and they want you to label the different um, like adjective adverb with a all right so we finished up the first part of lesson 42 and what I loved is the challenging reading practice this is what I love about the good and the beautiful is you see the how it links everything together so the challenging reading practice was about the Netherlands yeah we just read that so he's done with that we come over to the creative companion into lesson 42 and guess what we find the Netherlands, it has you study the photos. And a lot of the time, it'll give you a timer. And I'll say, study the photos for, you know, what is it? A couple minutes? Yeah. Okay. Study the photos for a couple minutes. So Connor can do this on his own, and they do. Don't you love to study the photos? Yeah. Okay. Um, then this is part of what I love about the geography study is they use tracing paper, and it gives them instructions. And what I do is I actually... We found that they like to tape it onto a window and trace it on a window rather than put tracing paper over it. So I bring this to the copy machine, I make a copy, and they tape it on a window. And, right? You like to yeah. do that better. It's worked better, and it kind of gets them out of their chair, and it lets them sit on the floor, go wherever they want. So it kind of mixes up the day. So today, they're going to be tracing the map. And this really, really works, the tracing of the map. Okay, Connor, so study these pictures, we'll get this printed, and then you can trace your geography. Mm -hmm.